All right, we're here in the pits. Robert and myself uh, just got here and we're rummed into uh, Andrew Krasminski. And Andrew, you had to practice this morning. I guess all you guys are fast, uh, but tell us a little about yours. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. We went out with the tour early. Uh, just we were going to try to get two rounds. Um, put down some really good times for me in this thing, so we skipped the second round. We're feeling pretty good about it. All right, and, and this is probably not one of your favorite tracks. Uh, or is it? Actually, I, I love this track. I just have terrible luck. No, terrible yeah, luck here yeah, yeah. all year long. So I'm hoping for something something good today, a good finish. At least, uh, you know, have my luck turn around. All right. Well, yeah. it's a good day for racing. It's going to be a good weekend. So uh, best of luck to you. Yeah, thanks, guys. All right. Andrew Krasminski, anybody want to thank me? Uh, my family who's sitting over there, um, they get me here every week. They uh, watch me go around and around, and we're having a lot of fun. So just got to thank them. Okay. Andrew Krasminski right here in the pits at top. And into Sean Garen here, driver the number 52 in the touring, the yep. Minnesota tour you're going to be running yep. today. Yep. First time in eight years. Tell us about it. Let me tell you, like I haven't been here in eight years, and I've been out the last two practices, and wow, did it come back to me. Yeah. It's a crazy track. Just when you're on that back stretch wall and you're full throttle, these little uh, mini stocks go so fast up here. It's it. unbelievable. Yeah. But uh, you know, the first first practice, I had a lot of goosebumps, but they went away real fast. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, eight years, that's a long time, dude. The last time I was here, I was up on my roof. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. All right. Well, that tells that story. But, I actually uh, went up and over uh, Christina D04. That's oh. how long she's ran here. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Uh, and how is the car? Great. This yeah. car's fast. All right. And uh, Mark's going to be running Banneroni in the mini stock division. Mark's a great driver. Yep. He's like my son. He does so much for me, and I do so much for him. And well, he does well here in your car. He does very well. Yeah. I'm very proud of him. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I wouldn't put anybody else in the car. Right. You know? All right. Well, best of luck to you, Sean. Can't Thanks, man. In the pits, man. Nice seeing you guys. Yeah, nice All seeing right. you. Good luck. <laughs> All right. We're here in the pits uh, with uh, Corey Berry out of Brooklyn, Connecticut. And, of course, the Berry name being very <laughs> familiar uh, in the racing community. And, uh, Corey, uh, all right. So, first of all, how's your car? Uh, actually, we haven't had a chance to practice yet. Um, I had to work yesterday morning, so I actually just missed practice probably by 30 seconds. Oh, so. my God. We'll, uh, we'll, see, well, we'll see in a little while. We got one more round of practice this morning, and then we got the heat race, so yeah. a little bit of a chance to adjust our car. All right, so, well, that's good. Yeah, the Spafcos are uh, yeah. good here. Oh, know? yeah, oh, yeah, I can't complain. Yeah. Spafcos, uh, I mean, family, so I have to kind of kind of stuck to it, but I'm happy with it. I'm not uh, not disappointed at all. All right, good <laughs> for you. Uh, how's your finishes this year here? Um, right now, we're leading the rookie standings, uh, sixth in points. We've had maybe two top fives so far. We've struggled a little bit. You know, not as good as I want, but I'm happy. We've uh, pretty much stayed out of trouble all year. Yeah, yeah keeping uh, in one piece all right, year. So, like I said, we're leading rookie points. That's all I can ask for, and hope for a good finish today or tomorrow. All right. So. All right. Well, congratulations Thank to you. you on a good year. Yeah. Keeping it all in one piece, hey, and uh, we definitely. wish you the best for this weekend. Definitely. Thank you. All right. It's Corey Berry here at the World Series. Yeah. All right. I don't know how well you can hear. we got the uh, four cylinders out there, but Brett the Jet guy out of Vernon, Connecticut. Brett. Did you get a chance to practice yesterday? Uh, not yesterday. Uh, we ended up parking it in because it was raining, but um, we got one round of practice today, so the car feels good. Good. Hopefully we got something. How many lights today? How many lights is there? I don't know. 20, something like that. Yeah, it should be a good field. Full field, yeah. All right. Well, we wish you the best, buddy. Right. Thank you, buddy. All right. Yeah. Brett the Jet out of Vernon, Connecticut. All right. Okay, we're here with Robert Bloxham. Robert, you got a new car. Uh, uh, what'd you do, check the last one and, and start to operate this one? Is that yeah, one? that one uh, got sent back to the owner, so we, um, but anyway, I, I was driving for Scott Kemmer, and he uh, had me drive the car for the year, and then this car was up for sale, and my dad and I thought it was a really good car, and we kind of wanted our own for a while, so we just kind of jumped on it because it was such a good deal, and yeah. You got a chance to get out there yet with it? Yeah, we've been out for practice so far, and um, it's going really well. We we really like the car, and we're tuning it in a little, and I think it's going to be really fast. Well, good. Yeah, it would be good to see you out here, and, and something a little bit more uh, updated, if you will, I guess, yeah, at this point. definitely. This is probably one of the better cars that we've had. Troyer? So, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a 2011 Troyer, so it's definitely one of the newest cars I've driven in a while. How's it feel? And, I mean, it feels like a Cadillac compared to the other cars I've been driving, yeah, so, yeah. you know. I, well, you do a good job, buddy. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm excited to see what we can do with some, some better equipment. All right. You know? All right. Well, there's Robert Bloxham, who uh, campaigns this thing out of Glastonbury, I believe. Yes, Glastonbury, right? we work on it, and then I'm from New Haven. Okay. So, All right. so there you have it. Robert Bloxham will make his effort to make it to the front with a brand-new SK Light today here at Thompson. Hello. 
Okay, we make our way through the pits, Robert and myself, and we run into one of the best guys around, man. Yeah, a lot of cars Business out here. Business-wise and race-wise. Sean sure. Monahan out of Waterford, Connecticut, dude. Uh, hey, if I'm one of the best guys in the pits, there's a lot of people here, huh? There really is. Yeah, I must be really cool. All right, say, guys. Hi, say hi to Ryan Waterman. Hey, Waterman. Ryan Waterman, uh, Ryan Morgan, all the Ryans out there, we love you. <laughs> all right, so How's what's the your... car? Oh, the, the car's pretty good, you know. Yeah. We, we don't show up half ass. No, no I, I mean, know that. We're on our A game. Oh, I know you are. We just gotta, we gotta protect our nose and um, and uh, hopefully we can hold the checkered flag this weekend. That's it's right. gonna be a good show. It is gonna be a good uh, show. The only, you know, I, I kind of wish I could watch, but. Uh, well, you'll be able to watch it when he posts it. <laughs> well, yeah. Follow the 55. I get aggravated watching when I don't see the 55. All right, what's going on? What else is going All right, happening? so anyways, what else we can say? You help Steve uh, Kenaway yeah, oh, yeah. get the bugs out of his car. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you blew his right front. That's also a nice. Oh, idea. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I bought that car probably about two months ago. Yeah. I got pretty excited. I bought another race car, you Did know? You really? Yeah, yeah. Well, so he's driving for you then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good. yeah. And then you know what happened the other night? I bought another race car. Come on. Yeah, I, if I find a good deal, I just bring it home, you know. How about a modified? Did you buy a modified? No, I still got that for sale. Oh. But I, nobody's really chomping to buy it, so it's probably sitting there until I'm ready to run well, it. that's a good car. Yeah. yeah. There, dude. Oh, yeah. So what do you think? Uh, we got the, the number two car of Mo Megan Phil Fuller. Yeah. She is um, she's on top of her game. Yeah. Well, Young Megan Fuller helps too. Well, Young girl, yeah, bunch of grown men out here beating the crap out of each other, right. and here she is rising to the top every week. Yep. And Kyle Garrow, you know, he just ran the uh, X cars down at Waterford, and uh, here he is running with the best of them. So, you know, may the best guy win. Yeah, and well, hopefully I win. Well, hopefully you do it. And, and if I don't, I'm, I, I'll never be sour about it. You right. know. Right. Well, where are you in points? At this I'm point? second in points. I'm, I'm ten points out. Mathematically possible for you to oh, win the championship? Extremely mathematical. Okay. Hey, I got student of the year math in grade eleven, <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna bring all that skill right back because I gotta count cars while I'm on the track. That's right, buddy. They're probably gonna make you start way back. And I don't yeah. care. I mean, it is what it is. That is. The, this is the most prestigious event of the year yeah. because they get the most amount of people in the grandstands. Yeah. They got more competitors that are sitting outside of their race cars looking forward to watching a good race. That's right. This is the time to shine. So hopefully we can put on a good show, uh, not fall out of our tree, and give God all the glory. Amen to that. And Critical Science, uh, oh yeah, awesome yeah. job you guys do. Thank uh, you. Um, you know, we're right next door to the speedboat. We hope to see that come back. but. Yeah. And if it wasn't for the sign company, I wouldn't be behind the wheel. It's That's something right. I started 20 years ago, and I said to my wife, "We're gonna, we're gonna start a sign business. That way, I could take the race days off. Nobody could bother me. We, we could have an afternoon off when we want." I didn't realize in self-employment that meant you work, you know, 60, 80 hours a week. Yeah. I'm just trying to make people happy. But look at how big you've grown, dude. It's yeah. Like critical signs is everywhere. But when, everywhere. but when it comes to race day, yeah. clock out. That's it. Baby. We're going racing. That's it. Just like a lot of these racers out here, you know, a lot of self-employed people, but they love the sport. That's right. And, and that's how they've been able to do this. A lot of them are smart. They right. Their own deal. So let's not be biased. Who are you cheering for in the main event for the limited sportsman? I think I'm going to stick with the 55. So you tell every guy that you interview at the time. No, I'm telling you no. no. <laughs> All right. Thanks for stopping All right. by. Sean Monahan, right. Waterford, right. Connecticut, possibly could win the championship today. See you there. Right. Watch out for the Supers as they rip around the corner. Uh, John Porter, great driver here. Uh, Fierce Waterford campaigner, dude. It's good to see you back in the race car. Tell us what you brought. I brought a brand new car. Uh, and we're still working the bugs out of it, but it's getting better and better each practice. All right, something you're going to be able to, you're going to be running this for 2020? Uh, yeah. Yeah, at Waterford? Yep. I'm sure Waterford we'll be there. Waterford and here, probably. Okay, cool. Yep. All right, anybody you want to thank, dude? I mean, it's great to see oh, you back man, out i got to thank Alan Coates, Mike Trask, my buddy Mike Ferguson for helping me out, my woman, Laurel. She put up with not seeing me for two months straight. <laughs> yeah. And what about your, uh, uh, who am I thinking of? Uh, uh, my uh, my boss, yeah. Jeff Carnes. Yeah, Jeff Carnes. Carnes Automotive. Yes. He, he helped me out a lot. I'm sure he did. He's a great <clears throat> dude. Yep. And uh, just, just getting out there, man. It's good to be back behind the wheel, I'll bet. Feels huh? good from last year, oh, yeah. big wreck. Yeah, you had yeah. a bad shot yeah, last yeah. year. Yeah, yeah. Took a little time to get over that, yeah. but I feel a lot better. All right, good. And uh, I got a lot more better safety equipment than I did last year or yeah. ever. Yeah. So and, and I'm now, sure if I take a shot like that again, I'll I'll be able to walk out of it. Right. Get cut out of it. Right. Right. So, Jeez, that was bad. That was yeah, bad. That, that was, was the last bad. race of the season too, yep. wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, it was actually today last year. 
Yeah, tonight. That's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, now you formerly drove the eight. Yeah, that correct? was Johnny Brower's car. Okay. Then he sold it because ran out of funds. Yeah. And he picked and up this. Then I took my old car and I put it, band-aided it all back together and just went out and had fun with it. All right. And that was it. So then I bought this. Yeah. It was a bare chassis two months ago. And, and I you just, did all the metal, motor, everything, we, huh? we did everything. Me, Mike, me and Mike, Mike Trask, we did a lot. Then I brought the Allen Coaches shop and we just did all the finishing touches and that was it. Well, best of luck to you, dude. All right. The bugs worked out. Thank you. And, uh, too. Good to see you again. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to get run over. <laughs> no, okay. You'll be all right, dude. John Porter here. Thank you. House, okay? Okay, we're here with Manchester, Connecticut driver Rick Ashlaw. Rick, you got a beautiful truck. But you had some issues not too long ago. Oh yeah, you? yeah. We bent it really good, really good at Claremont. Fixed it. Went to Lee last week. Made a half a lap on our heat race and got turned into the back straightaway wall and oh. pretty much destroyed the whole front end again. Oh my God. Yeah, and uh, spent all week until Thursday night getting her back together again just to make it here for the weekend. Well, I saw it when I saw you parked out here. I said we gotta go talk to Rick because I saw I saw <laughs> your post and everything. I said, oh my God. So, but how's it running? That it's means. running. That's the thing that's really getting me is that we're having a rough year, but we're fast. Good. You know, and if we get a, get a little bit of luck, I think we'll have a really good finish this weekend. All right. Well, best of luck to you. All right, thank you. Anybody you want to thank? You no, know, I got to thank uh, Mark Skrutsky of Fowlers. I got to thank John uh, Blakely Snap-On. I got to thank Steve. I got to thank myself, Standard Welding. You know, without these guys, I definitely wouldn't be here. Well, I wouldn't definitely. be doing what I'm doing. One of the nicest looking trucks here, dude. All right, thank you. You bet. Right. Good talking to you, yeah. and best of luck. Yeah, thank you. All right. Rick Ashlaw here in the pits of time. Okay, we're here with uh, Gerard Giordano, a.k.a. G-Rod, uh, a.k.a. known better. Uh, driver number 15. Where are you out of, Gerard? Long Island, Freeport, New York. Wow. So you did a little bit of travel getting here for this big, giant weekend. Uh, good to see you, dude. Yeah, it's not too bad to get here. But, you know, it's not New Hampshire, so yeah, we'll take, take the it. ferry over? No, we drive around. We're close oh, to the you? city. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Well, uh, how's the truck? You've had some practice time. Uh, how's it running? Yeah, we had one round of practice, and so far we're top of the boards. It's really fast, and no looking back now. So. Good, good. Your parents are here, your family. Anybody else you want to thank, sponsor-wise? Yeah, uh, mom, dad, girlfriend here, you know, everybody, all my crew. Uh, K1 Logistics, we got Venture Auto Body. We got uh, Excelsior Lodge, new sponsor this year, good people. All right. And uh, Langdon's Automotive, they come out every whenever they can. When they're not racing, they come out and they help us race. So Good. they're great guys. Well, that's what it's about. Uh, so we'll be watching this guy, watching G-Rod here, number 15, go to the front in today's yep. truck feature here at Tops. Let me know when you're ready, buddy. Dave Koenig here out of Long Island. A little bit of a trip for you, dude, but it's good to see you. Uh, tough competitor, this guy, driver number 97. You got some battle scars out here to prove Oh, it. absolutely. But this is what it's about, dude. That's it. Yeah. Tell us about it. How you running? Um, we're running pretty good this year. I think we're fourth right now. We're, uh, I think, three points ahead of Dwayne, fighting for the Champion. last two chase spots Okay. Um, to win the championship. Right. But, you know, it's been a uh, a rough couple of last races. Yeah, well, you guys got 24 trucks here today, man. Which what is, a feature event that's Which is be. awesome. Yeah, it's totally awesome. I mean, it's unbelievable. So, good to see you up here, man. Thank Best you. Best of luck to you, to you today. Too. And it's good to see us old guys racing instead of all these goddamn kids, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah, but the kids are good. <laughs> I know the they are. are definitely good. Great. But uh, good luck to you. Thank you. All right, Dave Koenig out of Long Island. And I'm sure there's somebody you want to thank. Well, I got to thank all my sponsors. I got to thank my wife first for putting up with this and letting me do this. Uh, Nelson's Auto Salvage, sponsored for the past, uh, say, 20 years. Wow. Um, National Metal. Uh, I got the Long Island Sharks hockey team on there. All County Towing. Patriot Recycling. Um, what do I got on the other side? I can't even think. That's all right. Uh, There's plenty. You couldn't do it without these sponsors. No, I definitely you know. could. I could, definitely couldn't do it right. without the sponsors. But and that goes for everybody. Everybody. Even us. Yep. Northeast Racing Media. We got backers, believe me. But uh, good talking to you. Again, best of luck today. Thank man. you. Thank right. you. Dave Koenig. Hi, right, we're here with Dress Springer out of uh, Killingly, Connecticut. Dude, you ain't but 10, 15 minutes away from here. And nope. uh, uh, not a full schedule on your card this year, right? No, nope, uh, just we're running part time. I'm just my fifth fifth race this year. We raced uh, Loudon and a couple of the small tracks around. Just picking the tracks that we want to race sure. and having fun. Good. Bring the family out. Bring the baby out. She loves me at the racetrack. 
just having fun. And uh, Waterford, you come visit us at Waterford next year? Yeah, they ever open. I mean, oh, we will, buddy. We will. If Waterford opens, I'll I'll try to be there right. and hang out down there. And Easy race. drive down 395 for you. Yeah, so. that's what I wanted to do this year was race at the bowl. But yeah, things happen. A lot of guys did. I'm, yeah, but we'll get there. Yeah. Uh, anybody want to thank Josh? Um, my fiance for dealing with me and yeah. <laughs> letting me go do this. My parents for being supportive and helping me. Um, all my sponsors, Tick Mike. Uh, he helped out the most this year. I won all that competition money. Uh, Standard Welding helped me out for this weekend, getting me through this weekend. Uh, Scott Gibo and Sun Construction. Uh, CPR, Drock Trucking. Uh, a lot good of them. Sponsors, Too many. Sure. I can't yeah. remember them all. Well, without them, uh, with all the appreciation to the sponsors, without them, you couldn't do it. I couldn't do it out of now. All right. Well, best of luck to you today, Josh. Thank you. And uh, this is Josh Stringer once again out of Killingly, Connecticut. 24 truck field today, buddy. Yeah. Good luck to you. Thank you. All right. We're here with Jim Boyle out of uh, Brooklyn, Connecticut. Brooklyn, yep. And uh, your campaign, is, what are you doing, double duty today or just, nope, just, just, just the, the uh, Speed Stock Tour to Showdown Series? Yeah. And, and you got a good starting spot. We have a really good starting spot. We're sitting on the pole. Yeah. Well, it's one way to stay out of trouble here, to be in front of it. That's all. <laughs> Uh, anybody you want to thank? Yeah, yeah obviously I got to thank. Obviously I got to thank all my sponsors: Metal Techno Post, uh, Bill Gaston GRE6, B and H Chassis that builds my chassis, Sal's Glass, Jeff's Custom Graphics that does my awesome cars, uh, Pops Exhaust, Crazy David. I couldn't do any of this without these guys. That's right. Uh, CSI, I brought him on. He's a South Carolina guy. He helps me out. I run down south quite a bit. All these guys built win. Couldn't do it without them. My family, obviously. You know, I, I got oil home improvement. Oil home improvement. You know, they're the ones that put the bill, unfortunately. <laughs> you know, yeah. Uh, but yeah, we uh, we unloaded and the car was fast right out of the rip. Well, it looks beautiful. They're in good shape. <laughs> Connecticut's Jim Boyle. Here with Madison, Connecticut's Devin O'Connell. Devin, tell us about your time for practice or how the car is well, at this point. <laughs> we sort of finished this thing last night at 2.30 in the morning wow. from a bare chassis. And, wow. Uh, and, um, we worked on it for about four days. We got into the regular car and uh, we decided to throw this thing together and see how it would run. And uh, I did half a lap and uh, the steering box was loose, so I had to pull it in. We don't get time trials, we don't get heat races, we're getting thrown right into the mix and we're starting third, so we're going to keep wow. our fingers crossed. <laughs> wow! Like just tighten everything up, make your correct adjustments? Yeah, exactly, make sure it's all tightened up yeah. and we really can't adjust it off of half a lap, right, so right. we're going to kind of go out there with what we got. We think we got a good car, I mean it's showing all the numbers that it usually shows uh, back when this thing was real quick, so yeah, yeah. it's got a brand new CRF chassis front clip on it, um, Clydeburg Racing Fabrications, um, after uh, you know, it got wrecked at Hickory. and. Yeah. Um, Work is beautiful on the car. We think it'll be a solid piece, and we're going to see what it can do. All right. Well, best of luck to you today. Appreciate it. Thank you. Anybody you want to thank, too? Yeah, absolutely. Chatham Pound the Motel, obviously. My dad, Nick Jones, Charlie, uh, for all their hard work. And uh, uh, Signworks New England for uh, for the awesome wrap of the car. I know it's kind of half wrapped right now. That's but all right. It looks good, dude. Yep. It's uh, it's been, But the car's been looking good all year. So it's uh, thanks to those guys for making this possible. Hopefully, we can come away with a good finish. Well, best of luck to you. Good starting spot, number three. Pre appreciate it. Thank you. Hell, kid. Thank you. All right. It's Devin O'Connell out of Madison. Hey, Hodgkin. Dude, tell us about your modified. How's it running today? It's good. Uh, we came a little late <laughs> on Friday, so we weren't able to get to practice with all the rain stuff. But today, we were just we just shook it down. We're got, about to get ready for the heat race. So, right. um, you know, we have a fast car. We always have a fast yeah, car here. Do. So, we're, um, we're just going to go out there and see how it does. Beautiful car, too. Yeah. So, uh, so, you still got qualifying up, heat, heat events, and uh, uh, your feature will be sometime tonight, I believe. Uh, Wow, you're always fast here. We wish you the best. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. Um, we're just going to go out there. Like I said, we have barely any practice, but we, we have a fast car. Uh, Keith Rock always does awesome with the setup, so I just, you know, we're going to go out there and we're going to show what we can do. All Last right. race of the season. Yep. Well, that's that's it, baby. Yeah. you got to give it out there and give it out. Exactly. Uh, who do you want to thank? i got to thank all my sponsors and supporters, Montana Fuel, State Cutters, Ness Auto, Keith Rock for Racing, uh, Rat Auto Machine, Jim's Welding, Ultimate Restoration, uh, all my crew members, um, and all the people from my family from Florida and North Carolina, and everyone that's supported me over the years. We did a really good job at Stafford, and we're going to come in a year off good at, uh, here at Thompson. All right, best luck so, to you. Today. Thank you very much. All right, that's Teddy Hodgkins here. Okay, we're here with up-and-coming star Bill Sylvia, driver of the number 88 mini stock.
here at Thompson. And uh, your third start here this year, or is it your fourth? Uh, third, start. third start. Third start. We finished tenth and ninth. Uh, we had to make some changes. We never raced here. Uh, definitely had to do some things to, to change around and make the car go up here. But we really hit something this weekend and uh, had a little trouble to practice. But uh, we're better now. We we found some problems. We corrected them, and uh, we look to be strong today. Good, good. Well, you got a beautifully prepared car. I know you and your dad have been working on this thing all year. Day in, day out, night in, night out. Uh, the struggle is unreal sometimes. You know, uh, I don't know how some of these guys do it with the bigger cars right. and, and how they don't lose their minds sometimes. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, but but we we do whatever it takes. That's our motto. Uh, we have never given up. We could break every week like we did last year, and we didn't give up. We came back this year finishing races, being strong. You know, and uh, I got a great group of sponsors. I got uh, amazing sponsors this year. Uh, they've been behind me from the beginning. And, you know. Tell us who. Uh, we got Dan Horgan, Horgan Law, uh, awesome guy. Uh, Dave Donatello, Half Keck Tavern, John Gould, Treats Pools and Spas, uh, Brandon Reddington, the Reddington Group, Kaiser Construction, Tony Kaiser, uh, Broadreach Builders, Jeff Cook. Uh, it goes on and on. You know, my dad, uh, Joe, and Ian, they, they are there every night of the week. They and don't your mom, quit. she's a good my, cook. My mom cooks for the crew. You yeah. know, we have a lot of fun and yeah. love, and, you know, and we're trying to, uh, we haven't gotten a top five yet, and this is my third You're year. You're getting there. And we're, we're going to get there. Today may be our day, and then we're, we're looking to run strong. Well, this guy, I can attest, he's had some awfully tough luck as a beginner, as a rookie. Uh, at Waterford Speedball, and it's so good to see you here with a new car, dude, and uh, we wish you the best. Uh, thank you guys so much. All you know, right. Have that, a great day. That's Bill Sylvia from Preston, Connecticut. <laughs>